This is President Biden this morning by uh, 31. One important part of that agenda is strengthening our border between our nations. And I will visit the border myself this Sunday in El Paso to assess border enforcement operations, meet with the local officials and community leaders and the folks at the border sending me what they need that they don't have. So that came from President Biden. And this is, uh, again, kind of the substance here, Bite 33. Starting today, if you don't apply through the legal process, you will not be eligible for this new parole program. Let me reiterate, you need a lawful sponsor in the United States of America, number one, and you need to undergo a rigorous background check, number two. If your application is approved and you show up at at a U.S. airport or when and where directed, you have access. But if your application is denied or you attempt to cross into the United States unlawfully, you will not be allowed to enter. Let me tell you what that is. Basically, sounds like, and we haven't seen it yet, Title 42. Title 42 is based on the uh, pandemic. So that was this whole legal issue of is it a is it a temporary fix versus long-term fix? But you've got Mayorkas saying that the number of encounters are out of control and the system can't handle it. That's what he's saying. Then we're going to file a brief on behalf of the states on the Title 42 case at the Supreme Court. So we're going to do that. But at the same time, the president's saying that he's going to announce new immigration restrictions that will enable people to remove quickly without letting them west seek asylum. Yeah, and this is something at the ACLJ we worked on and kept in front of the American yep. people for years. And so I don't want appear to appear ungrateful. I, this is a good step that the president's making. On the other hand, Jay, there are those who say it's too little too late. Just in the last two years, almost 5 million people have been apprehended crossing the border illegally. We also know that out, out of that group, over 100 that they apprehended were on the terror watch list. But it, you add to that almost 700,000 gotaways last year, and we don't know how many of those are on the terror watch list. And so when the president says he's going to the border, he wants to give the CBP whatever they need, Yeah, what they need is a wall along the border to stop drug trafficking 100%. and sex trafficking because the drug traffickers and sex traffickers, they don't use ports of entry. They go across in the gap. But here's what's interesting. The measure that the president's proposing, this is a, this is a piece in the Washington Post, folks. This is what they say. The measures which are likely to draw legal challenges from immigration advocates will expand and expedite legal pathways for orderly migration. In other words, as with the term we're using, those would be lawful entrance to the United States and result in new consequences for those who fail to use legal pathways. Unlawful entrance to the United States. That's exactly what we've been advocating here at the ACLJ. Now, here's the irony. So let's say this bill or whatever it is, executive order, whatever it becomes, passes. And it gets a challenge from the ACLU and the National Immigration Association. So they file a lawsuit. You understand what could happen here? We got we to gotta defend the policy. The fact that the policy is presented by President Biden doesn't mean we don't defend it if we think it's the right policy here. Now, we got to see what that policy actually is. But if it's to deal with unlawful entrance, of course you want to deal with that. Yeah, we're grateful. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, listen, this would be a success, folks. I mean, this this could, I mean, until I see it, I don't believe it. But if it does happen... And I, obviously, he's going. To, something's going to happen because it triggered him, the president, to go down there. So he could say, "I met with the border patrol, I met with Cust ICE, I met with immigration, and I'll tell you something, folks. We've got to do something here dramatic because it's out of control." 